prepared for whatever the weather brings. As James Cook reports now from South Lanarkshire. It may be later than last year, but winter has finally arrived. This was the morning rush hour on the motorway to England. A jackknifed lorry blocked the road for nearly three hours. But most main routes remained open. We had uh, 130 gritters out with snow ploughs as well. Uh, sometimes two treatments on the trunk roads and also this morning going out patrolling and gritting where necessary. Hiya. But on the side roads of South Lanarkshire, it was a different story. We've like a lot of problems to get to and from places like school and my little sister goes to nursery. A big problem to get up there in a little car. This tree was actually brought down by the storms last week, but the snow is going to make it much more difficult to shift. It all adds up to make life in the countryside that much tougher. And this is just the beginning of winter. At least the trains should run more smoothly this year. This heated tunnel cuts the time it takes to defrost them from six hours to just two. What we have here is space heaters all the way along, eight heaters that will pump hot air in, and because of this type of material, retains the heat inside. Horsepower is even more reliable in the snow, but he seems more impressed than his owner. I don't see any gritting lorries about here, do you? So I don't see them spending any money on the potholes. At least it looks spectacular, but this was just a flavour of last winter. The real test is yet to come. James Cook, BBC News, South Lanarkshire. Indeed, the real test is still to come. So what's the forecast? Well, George, here we go again, isn't it? It's fun and games for some, but a bit of a headache for...